I got some uh, couple of coats of polyurethane on our projects from last week. But we're not going to work on these. We're going to work on a shop dolly. Today we're going to recycle this old shop dolly and build a new one. It's going to be a fun project. Welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 159. Um, you already saw, saw the old uh, shop dolly. What we're going to do is we're going to recycle it, uh, tear it apart, and save whatever we can. And we're going to build us a new shop dolly uh, that uh, corrects some of the deficits of the one we got. Uh, ironically, my shop dolly is probably one of the best ones ever built. We're going to make it even better. But we're not going to get anything done. We're not going to get make anything better unless we do what? That's right. We never need to knock off that gab and get to work. Okay, uh, today we're going to tear this thing apart and build a new one. Uh, some of the defects in this thing. It, first of all, it's too far off the ground. Uh, I want it to be lower down. The uh, whole thing kind of bows here in the middle. I don't like that. This uh, plywood here is, uh, I think, defective. And the thing just doesn't look very good. And plus, the wheels don't lock. Let's uh, begin to tear this thing apart and see what, see what we got. Oh, man. It's tearing these things out. Look at that. That's amazing. Well, I got that uh, old handle off. We're going to reuse this handle. Now, let's flip this thing over and uh, let's see what we got on the other side. You talk about overkill. I got these. Uh, I got these wheels. These are nice big wheels, except uh, they're not. They're not locking. So they're of dubious value. But I'm going to held held on with uh, those big old uh, carriage bolts, and uh, and they're strapped to some treated two by fours. Let's take all this uh, business off. And what's ironic about it is with all this bracing, uh, this lateral bracing, the the lengthwise bracing, I don't even have any. No wonder it's sagging in the middle. These bolts are going to come off. These bolts are going to come off uh, super easy. Problem is my, my little driver head there has a magnet in it, so the bolts want to stay in there. They make uh, these little driver heads up to about half an inch, um, but after that you kind of have to improvise. And what I did is I took a, it looks like a, you know, a socket extension head of some type and I cut it off. And that way I can put sockets on it like that and then just attach it to my, uh, attach it to my chuck. To my chuck bit. And now, if I can get to it, I can just spin those off. This bolt's being contrary. Let's see if we can. You don't have to cut all the way through those bolts uh, unless you're just a man. You can just go about halfway through and then it'll just pop off like that. Look at there, I essentially had those uh, wheels uh, attached with 12 carriage bolts. I'm going to have to go back and check the video and find out why I thought I needed to do that. And so what I'll do, uh, these are two feet long dry treated uh, pieces of two before so you never know when you need something like that so I'm going to put them up here in my wood, my wood bin 
and these high dollar wheels, and they are high dollar, I think they're about $35 a piece. I'll put those up here with all my extra wheels. I'll find a project for them someday. Now this deck is, these are pine, looks like clear, clear pine boards uh, that I attach to a half inch piece of uh, cabinet plywood. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these screws out and if this thing is, if these boards are glued to the plywood, I'll probably just give up at that point and scrap this whole thing. Well, these boards are glued on here, but they don't seem like the glue is stuck very well. Let me do a quick product uh, review. See these little hot dipped, <clears throat> these little hot dipped screws? They're really bad. What happens is <clears throat> that zinc coating gets down in the grooves here and your and your drill bit doesn't want to uh, engage it very well on some of them. So they're a pain in the butt. You know I'm going to try to save those uh, boards but I think this, uh, this plywood is beyond uh, hope. Well, I got some nice uh, pine boards uh, out of the deal. I just planed them up. Oh, and this is interesting. Right there, there's some uh, recessed hinge marks uh, in this board. So this is uh, at least the second project that these these guys lived in, and and now they're recycled for the next project. I'm gonna put these boards up on top because. Seems like whenever I need wood, it's always on top. So maybe these will get a, have a good chance of living again. Here's the board for our new dolly. It's uh, much longer. It's the same width. It has to be that width so it'll go through doors. Uh, it's got uh, lockable lockable wheels on it. Now what I need to do is put some stiffeners across the bottom so it won't sag. And you see I got my I got my saw turned around from what it was last week. When you remember when you put these pocket screws in, if you got any chip out where your drill came through, you want to knock that off, especially if you're going to be gluing. And I am going to be gluing here. Okay, now I'll uh, got about it. Thousand pocket screws to put in. No big deal. I don't want to 
drive them in with that thing though. That, uh, that driver is a driver. It's not a screwdriver. You can use it for a screwdriver, but you really need one of these 12 volt jobs. Well, the stiffeners are in there. Let's uh, turn it over and put the handles on it. Well, there's our new uh, shop dolly. It's uh, lower, it's longer, it's got the uh, uh, braces to keep it from sagging in the middle. It's got high dollar wheels that lock. It's got a handle. So I'm pretty satisfied with it. Well, I tell you, that's a, that does it for uh, Memphis Monday 159, the uh, shop dolly rebuild. Uh, we tore apart that other, uh, uh, that other dolly, uh, recycled uh, most of the material except for that top sheet of plywood. Everything else is uh, back in the uh, supply chain. Uh, and we built us a new dolly. It's uh, longer, it's uh, lower to the ground, it's got braces along the long axis so it, uh, so it won't sag in the middle and I think we're going to get ser good service out of it. Well, make sure you comment and like and favorite and tweet and follow and all the stuff you do on the internet. Make sure you comment. That's all I can think of. No, one more thing. Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.